Hello everyone and welcome to the Digital Signage Guide. This time we're going to be talking about players and what a player is. Now you're probably familiar with some form of player if you've got digital signage today. It could be a bright sign device, it could be a fire stick, it could be a Samsung SoC or an LG SoC and the list goes on for all of the supported digital signage players. However, something changed several years ago when the pandemic came which is the concept of what a player could be. Now as things have progressed we've taken the concept of a player which is traditionally th thought of as a physical device which has some kind of operating system and might be system on chip, i.e. all baked into the screen itself, or a standalone player or device. But now the concept of player has changed to be more fluid. There are now two different players that are available that require no hardware well, that's not necessarily true, require no hardware specifically designed for digital signage. And these are broadcast players and browser players. The difference between the two is a broadcast player is in essence a URL. And that URL can deliver exactly the same content that your digital signage players can, but without any physical device. All you're going to need is some kind of browser. So you'll need your laptop, obviously, or a phone or whatever it might be that you're going to use to deliver this. But what the broadcast player allows you to do is take that URL in an open way and deliver the exact same content onto your devices. And the reason for this was a response to more people working from home. So with more people working from home, you want to replicate the same communication that you have on your digital signage for those in the workspaces. But you also want your at-home workers to be able to receive exactly the same messaging without additional workload. So without those content creators having to make a separate channel of content, managing that and distributing that slightly differently, the broadcast player allowed you to do that. And the benefit of the broadcast player is it's not limited to one user. It's not a one player to one license experience. You can have as many different people as you need logging in or, or accessing that URL, and making the changes that you need to. The other one on there is the browser player. And that's the one that I'm gonna to demonstrate today just to show you what the browser player does. So we actually have a browser player in our studio set up here. And you can see what I've actually added here is the browser player URL. So I can copy this URL and this is a unique instance per player. So the browser player is one-to-one -one relationship with your license and the device or the player itself. Whereas the broadcast player is one URL and unlimited logins. So if we take this browser player now, so now with the browser player running, my laptop is running exactly the same content as the digital signage does. This has opened up a huge gamut of possibilities for what kind of content that you can run and where you can run it. So the browser player is in essence the core behind how we can deliver content to things like your AirTame, your Immersive and your ScreenBeam devices and depending on when this video is released, the ClickShare devices as well. This will be cut if we haven't released that yet. Now, what this allows you to do is basically distribute exactly the same content to players that weren't initially traditionally designed to run with your digital signage devices. Let's take, for example, this Chrome device that I've got. Apologies, no, this is a Windows device. So if we've got this Windows device here, now the way that any digital signage platform will work with this device is it's going to send content to the player. So it could be images, videos, web pages, whatever it might be, and anything it can store on this device locally will be. So an image file will live on this device, but it'll be sent via the cloud through your CMS platform. Same thing with video files. And the benefit of that is it stores it locally so it can play offline. And it also gives you the benefit of it being able to be less bandwidth uh, usage on, on your actual device because it's storing it there and then playing it from this device to your screen. And that's all well and good and really the best way to deliver digital signage because it's the most robust way and it delivers a most continuous uh, experience. However, with the other devices we're talking about, so Immersive, AirTame, ScreenBeam, they don't have storage that are accessible for digital signage platforms. So you can't access the storage that's on there and do anything particularly useful with it. So what the browser player or the, br uh, the browser player allows you to do is actually remove that requirement. It in essence removes that requirement for the hardware to be able to have the ability to store that content. Instead, by delivering it via a URL, we can be much more flexible with the way that this content is distributed. So, in response to the way that pandemic and the way people were working has changed, with the broadcast player and the browser player, we have this much more broad way of delivering exactly the same content. And the key here is it is the same content. So we're not having to replicate the workload. There are a few limitations with the broadcast or the browser player that you should be aware of. And that is that they can't distribute video files. The reason for that is because traditionally what we would do is take a video file, let's say it's a large video file and it's one gigabyte. 
and we would have that stored on this player locally. Now, because we don't have the ability to store a full gigabyte video on a browser or a broadcast player, we can't then display the videos in any reasonable way. So the alternative, aside from that, obviously you can still run images, you can still run web pages, any of the content that's in the marketplace that isn't a video file will run as well. So things like clocks, calendar, all of those integrated tools, secure dashboards with Power BI, for example, that will still run fine. But with the video files, you can always upload that into a YouTube platform or some kind of streaming service and deliver that via the YouTube app because YouTube or other video platforms are available as well is actually hosting that video file content for you and you're simply just playing it back from the device via the browser. So that is the browser player and the broadcast player, what they add to your, your ability to distribute content. So if you've got Signage Live right now, you can go and purchase a broadcast player that as well as your traditional digital signage can be used as a channel of content for those at-home workers without any additional workload being added. Or if you're looking at utilizing some of these kind of room conferencing players, using a URL to deliver that player and again manage your content in an almost identical way. So hopefully that's been useful. If you've got any questions, do feel free to reach out to us. More information about the broadcast and the browser player are available online on the Signage Live support documents. Other than that, thank you very much for joining us and we'll speak to you again on the next one.